Hi, this is Nolan Hames from PresentYourStory.com and Nolan Hames Creative, and today I'm going to show you how to create newspaper tear effects in PowerPoint. Uh, no Photoshop necessary, you're going to be able to do this all with PowerPoint's built-in tools. And I'm going to show you how to do this two different ways. Uh, the first way is to uh, create the, the torn shape with your own type, so to create it with live type so that you can copy and paste a part of an article in or actually make your own headlines. And the second way will be to actually use an image of a, of a print article or a screen grab of an online article and to apply this torn shape to that. In both of these cases, the first thing you're going to need is a torn vector shape. Now, if you have access to a stock site, uh, for example, iStock, uh, which is where I got these from, you may be able to download um, some of these newspaper tear effects um, as vector shapes. And you can see uh, these, if I zoom in a little bit, uh, if I go to edit points, you can see that these actually are made up of a whole bunch of different points. Now, uh, these I did get from iStock. I opened them in Illustrator, saved them out as an SVG, imported them into PowerPoint, and then converted them to shapes. So that's one way to get these shapes. The other way, though, uh, is to simply create them yourself, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do now. It's very simple. You first start with a rectangle, and then you're going to select your freeform scribble tool up here. This is the one that gives you a little... Uh, pencil uh, in place of your cursor and you're going to start at the bottom outside of your rectangle and you're simply going to draw your own jagged torn edge. You can, this is entirely up to you, how jagged you want it, uh, how straight across you want it. Once you're done you want to uh, close the shape so we have a, a complete shape here and for uh, demo purposes now I'm just going to go ahead and, and fill this with a shape or fill it with a color. Uh, what Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the Merge Shape Tools. And if you've never used these, they can uh, get a little confusing, uh, sometimes a little intimidating, um, because you're not sure what to select first, how exactly they work. But uh, for this, I'm going to use a, a, memory, a little trick, a memory trick uh, given to me by Mike Parkinson of Billion Dollar Graphics. And Mike says that you want to imagine your first image as your cookie dough and you roll that cookie dough out onto the table, and then you shift click and uh, you select second your cookie cutter. That's gonna be our, our little jagged shape here. So you select your cookie dough first, and then your cookie cutter, and of course the cookie cutter sits on top of the cookie dough. Now you're all set to go to merge shapes, and you're gonna select subtract, because we're gonna be cutting out this cookie dough into our uh, jagged shape, our little newspaper, torn newspaper effect. If we wanted to, we could do this again to uh, create a, a jagged shape on the top, but again, for, for purposes now, we're just going to leave it as is. Uh, but I am going to fill this with white. Uh, maybe I'll take my uh, outline down just a little bit, make that a little more subtle, and maybe I will give it a shadow for a little sense of realism. So here's my vector uh, torn uh, shape, uh, which we're going to use in a, in a couple different ways. So let me first uh, take this onto our next slide. First way uh, we're going to make use of this is by taking live type. So I'm going to control A, control C, and paste this right into my shape. And since this is uh, just really a text box at the end of the day, the cool thing is you can make it whatever size and whatever sort of aspect ratio that you want. Uh, you can add more text if you need to fill it out. You can uh, delete text if it starts to, uh, if you end up with, uh, for example, something like that. Uh, but um, in this case, what I want to add a logo to the top of it. So I've got my uh, New York Times little uh, SVG here. Let me bring that to the front. And let me make that a little bit bigger. Um, looks pretty good centered there. Uh, my article starts a little too close to my logo, so I'm gonna, it is just a text box, so I'm going to go and increase my top margin just a little bit. Maybe I will make that bold, make that a little bit bigger. Maybe close this up a tiny bit. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's uh, starting to look like something I might want to use. And there you go. Again, you can keep playing with it, uh, make up your own headlines, uh, do whatever you want with it. So that's the first way where we're, we're retaining live type. The second way uh, is if you actually have an image to begin with. 
So here's my uh, here's my shape again. I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, all my text because I don't need that. So the the second way would be to apply this to an image that we already have of an actual article where we'll get a, the jagged edges on the bottom. Now. Uh, to do this, we're, we essentially need to crop, we want to crop this image to this shape. And how do we do that? Well, we're again going to make use of uh, our, I'm sorry, we're going to make use of our merge shape tools. So I'm going to actually overlay my image there a little bit, bring this down a little bit. So now the image, the, the, the New York Times image is going to act as the cookie dough and our, our torn uh, shape is going to act as the cookie cutter. So first we select the image, and it has to be larger than the cookie cutter. Then we select the cookie cutter. But in this case, we're not going to do subtract, go to shape format here. We're not going to do uh, subtract, we're going to do intersect. And uh, believe it or not, you can do this to images. It does not have to be just vector shape to vector shape. And once we do that, there you go. We get a torn out shape. Uh, to this one, we probably want to add a little shadow. And the cool thing about this is if we go to picture format and go to crop, our whole New York Times image is still there. So if we cut off the edges a little bit, we can make it a little bit smaller. We can move it up. We can move it down. We could, you know, if we really wanted to, we can make it uh, super big. And this gives us a lot of flexibility here. Uh, if we wanted to, actually, we could now apply, if we were like, oh, let's have a jacket on the top, we could go ahead and cookie cut out that again using merge shapes. But this gives us a really flexible uh, custom crop, uh, essentially, um, where because naturally, uh, if we go to picture format cropping, it's not uh, our newspaper tear is not going to be one of the built in options. So this is a way to do a custom crop. And uh, and there we go. And our whole uh, image still remains in case we ever need to uh, access it or move it around again. So that is two different ways to make uh, torn newspaper effects all within PowerPoint. No Photoshop necessary. My name is Nolan Hames from presentyourstory.com. Check out our other tutorials and uh, go to our website to check out a bunch of uh, articles and other information on visual communications and presentation.